right, people. All right, all right, all right. Now, I want you to take a look at this clip. Even before we start, this is a very, very interesting clip where you see some students of the blind school actually modeling. You see them on the catwalk modeling, and it's a very interesting concept. Take a look at this. Second, we do the first live catwalk show to ever happen in Ghana, which is being held in the Gopon School for the Blind. You know what I'm Do you know This is what's similar from Malika Tenga. Tell him something to me, man. Um, to have uh, designers working with uh, the School of the Blind and getting them actually to do the cut work and to do uh, 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 modeling. Anyway, let's talk to the designers, find out a bit more about them and uh, why they decided to go to the Blind School to model with them. Stick around. And the first person I'm going to introduce this uh, charming lady and her name is Ginny Kwashi. And she's with Jeannie JQ. Put it all together. Welcome, Jeannie. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> okay. Like I said, the first person, I'm going to introduce somebody else later. But let's, let's shoot the breeze with Jeannie. Welcome to the show. Thank you, KSO. Wow. <laughs> I mean, um, I, was, I was watching this and I'm like, wow. You actually got people who, who, who are visually impaired. Yes. To walk, uh, tell yes. me a little bit about this. It, it, it just came to mind. It was actually the idea of um, Black Heidi. Okay. He contacted me and thought it was something we could do because normally we do a lot of fashion shows, mm -hmm. but thinking of using the blind to walk, mm -hmm. I thought it was a great idea. So we pulled resources together and decided that this would be a great thing to do. So we did that with the Ecopon School for the Blind. Wow. Put your hands together. <laughs> and um, well, I'm, I'm going to get a, a very man from Black IQ in to join you uh, very, very soon. But but how how difficult was it? What did you have to uh... organizing our clothes and accessories for the fashion show was not a problem. What was a great challenge was dressing up mm. the work at the backstage because you have to put the clothes on, take the clothes off, walk them to the stage, and organize the way they even walk. Mm. It was quite an experience, mm. I must say, mm. and we really enjoyed it. Wow. And at the end of the day, the, 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 the event was? The event was successful. They were very happy, and it, it was really amazing. All yes, right. Man. Give it up, man. Give it up. Give it up. <laughs> and this is a good time to get uh, this gentleman called Berima Kenneth Kwabuna Mensa with Black ID to join us. Put your hands together and welcome Barima. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. All right. Barima, welcome to the show. Thank you, Kiesa. Wow. I mean, um, well, we, we heard her talking and you said uh, the idea came from you and you called her. How did you come up with the idea? What were you looking for 
to do that is so different than make you come up with that idea? Uh, we were just trying to give back, you know. It was just my birthday. I've decided to give back mm. every every year. Okay. So this year we decided to just give back, and a few friends suggested that we should do something for the blind. So we decided to just go there and donate some uniforms mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. But it came to mind that if you're a designer, you're just giving. What are you really you're like? You are just fishing for them. Why don't you teach them something that mm. they can do something? out of when 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 they come so out the initial of idea was just going there and donate, yeah, just, and just donate. donate uniforms uh -huh. to them so later you know when you have good plans you know good things come to yeah. you so we had the idea that we can do a fashion show for them and we were thinking of using abled models for the runway but they are blind they can't see so mm. what is their use <laughs> so we realized <laughs> okay why don't you use them on a runway so that was how the whole idea came up Wow, yeah, wow. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's a very exciting thing. I like that, and I like the, 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 the thought process, you know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. first of all, you wanted to uh, do modeling for yeah, them. And I yeah, said, wait a minute, what would be the point? Yeah. Let's get them to do the do modeling. The, 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 and so you called uh, Jeanette? Yeah, you know, yeah, all the designers, we have about five designers on mm. board. And the interesting thing is, she's our lecturer. She taught all the designers on that show. So oh, really? She's a, yeah, a lecturer? Yeah. Yes. Really? I'm a lecturer as well, yes. Wow. So that's your student? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. I see. So <laughs> she was the one who groomed all of us. So we can say even the idea, coming up with that creative idea, you know, she was the one. She was the one who trained us how to think and come up with creative things. So, wow. you know, she, 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 she was the one who really did a lot. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So yeah. you... you, you so you, you mooted the idea of doing the, the yeah, yeah the, the, the catwalk with the blind. Mm -hmm. You know, when it comes to fashion, the blind has been relegated to the background yeah. because of, you know, because they can't see them, meaning yeah. they can't see anything beautiful. But funny enough, when you are with them, when their clothes are even dirty, they can feel it. Wow. Yeah. During wow. the show, two of them were walking towards the venue and one said, oh, I have to go back because my, my shirt is dirty and go and change. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's what yeah. yeah. <laughs> you But for me, it wasn't too much of a surprise because my PR for the show was visually impaired, blessing, oh. and And anywhere, anytime we go for an interview, she could feel the, you know, the, the environment. She can tell if the place is nice or not. Wow. Yeah. So from, I think we did the interview for about two or three weeks before the show happened. So I got used to her. Mm -hmm. So... You know, I wasn't too surprised mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I've been with Because you know, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. So, um, so you get to the, 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 the blind school. Yeah. How do you select, you know, Marwan, those that you're going to be using on the, hard, uh, the, the catwalk? How was the selection process? How do you, what was that based on? We first started off by going to their various classrooms. Okay. First, we wanted to be really strict and use what normal models like the height, mm. the face and everything. But we realized that that was not the reason why we were there. Mm. So we went to individual classrooms, looked at how the children were, and some were very beautiful. Mm. So we selected them and we had to take them through modeling sessions. Wow. And they were quite excited about it. <laughs> they, they knew they were going to be on the catwalk and everything. And they were very serious with their modeling sessions mm. so at the end we chose the final ones who would do the catwalk made uh, had their measurements done and we started manufacturing how many how many did the final i many? think we chose 30 people 30 15 mm. girls and 15 boys wow yes wow. wow and did you have to work with the the teachers of the school in terms of instructing them how yes you know, the, the the school came up with um a team of staff and they were grooming the students and encouraging them to do it some of them were really shy mm. at the beginning mm. but when they knew what they were going to get at the end they they, they gave in and did it the, the, <laughs> the, staff the, 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 the teachers really helped because we were thinking of using a, a modeling agency to mm -hmm. groom them but the modeling agency they demonstrate for the people to see and these people are blind so how mm -hmm. are you going to go mm -hmm. about it mm -hmm. so we had to Use employ the, the services of the teachers to groom them and they did virtually everything the grooming and everything they did everything and we were even surprised the way they came on a runway and modeled and you know if you were to be around you you, you 
I don't know what will be going on in your mind because you ask yourself, how do they see? They walk, they get to the edge of the stage, the they pose, then, yeah. then they turn around. You know, it was so amazing. <laughs> it's so amazing. Even myself, me, put, me being there with them, like going there several times, organizing the whole thing, even during the D-Day, I was surprised myself. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. Yeah. Let, let's, let's take another look at another clip and uh, let's, let's take a look at this. I'm watching it. I don't know how we did it. Mm. But throughout the show, I was working backstage. Mm. I was doing the dressing up. I've done this for 10 years. But it was quite a great challenge because it's the first time I've actually worked with the blind. Mm. I had to dress them up, take their clothes off, put their back on, and hold their hands to where the catwalk was. Wow. But normally what we do is we finish dressing up the models and they just go off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this was quite a challenge. So now if to actually lead them, lead to, them to where the stage was. But we devised a strategy whereby we give them vibration on the stage mm. and that tells them that they are almost close to the edge oh. so they don't fall off. Okay. So we had to come up with all these things to help them. Mm. Looking back, I, th I think we've done a great work and uh, we'll be going far with it. Fantastic. I think we'll be going for and I, 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 I also think so. Also, Burma, and you? Uh, right now, you know, for what, every day I look at the pictures, I post some on uh, uh, Instagram, and uh, when I look at the pictures, sometimes I ask myself, did we do this? How, you know, I, I don't even understand myself. <laughs> so right now, and uh, the unfortunate thing is, you know, it was outside Accra. Mm. So most people couldn't come mm. to watch. So mm -hmm. this time mm -hmm. around, we are bringing it down here. Oh, you're bringing it to Accra? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, right, all yeah, right, all right. Yeah. Are you going to do it where? Right now, we are working on the venue. Okay, the yeah, venue. Yeah. Oh, that would be fantastic. Since it's a charity show, you know, we are pushing everything with our money. Mm. So getting a venue is quite a challenge. Okay. And right now, you know, you have to transport the kids to Accra, mm -hmm. give them a place to sleep, at least two days mm -hmm. to the event. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a challenge. Mm -hmm. But right now, the blind is calling for peace. You know, we are in, in, in an election year. So the blind is calling for peace. So what you are doing is you are coming to work. So I'm taking this opportunity. You know, this platform is the number one when it comes to show. You know, show some love, man. Show some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always sit at home. I see the likes of the uh, my Debra's and the rest, and I ask myself, when will I be on this You're here show? Now. Yeah, and now <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here. So I'm taking this opportunity to invite, you know, a call on the political heads mm -hmm. because I mm -hmm. wish they could come around on that day. Mm. Even mm. if they don't come, there should be someone who will be there to represent them. To, to represent wow. them. They should all come. We said, watch the blind do the cut work. If we have peace and they are working like this, who knows? Next year, we have something coming. Even on that show, we are planning of doing something. The blind is going to take, they are going to take pictures. So the political heads, when you come, the blind will touch you, walk, take a few steps back. They will take a picture of you. Wow. When we finish, we'll frame the whole thing wow. and give it to you. Show some so, love. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. And this is all like a, a, a crusade for peace as well. Peaceful yeah. election. Yeah. yeah. Because wow. we're the abled ones. Even if there's... A, a problem. We can't run anywhere. But how much more they're blind? Yeah, they can't do the, anything. Yeah. When the light goes off, you can't even do anything. Wear yeah. your own clothes. You can't. You, yeah. By the time you get out, you are looking, yeah. you know, yeah. some way. Yeah. Yeah. But the blind, they, they, they eat and do everything and they still have hope because my PRO is in Legon. Even we, the abled ones, are not even there. Wow. My, the, 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 the uh, co MC, Dachi uh, Ene. He's also in Legon, and he uh, he sends me message every morning on WhatsApp. When you go on Facebook, and it's also visually impaired. Visually impaired. Wow. 
On Facebook, he is very active. Kenzie, he's a rapper. Ask yourself, how does he write the mm. lyrics? And mm. you know, it's amazing. You know, you can't understand. <laughs> you can't. So this time around, we want to bring it to Accra. Fantastic. Invite yourself and other uh, people who are interested to come and help us, you know, show love and also call for peace. Like, tell Ghana that we need peace. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need war. So yeah. we yeah. should all come and witness. And also we are calling on the corporate uh, uh, bodies. Mm -hmm. We know they've done their annual budget and mm -hmm. everything, but when we come to them... They should find they, some, they something... Find look of you. Because... We didn't take money from any one. Wow. And this time around, we are doing it again, and it's going to be free, just that it's strictly by invitation. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. come and you come and witness. So they should try and support us. Okay. Little, even if the company okay. can't, okay. I know that the heads, they can give us a yeah. letter yeah. to support such an event. So that is all what we are calling for. Okay. Yes. okay. Using fashion as a force for good. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> wow. And so that is it, folks. Using fashion as a force for good. And they are going to have uh, 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 students from the, the School of the Blind actually uh, doing the catwalk and other things. So this to you out there, if there's any support you can give, if you're a transport owner and you want to provide the, the bus uh, to, to convey them here and back, if you're a hotel and you want to offer your place as a, as a, as a, as a for accommodation, anything you can do, please come and help. And um, in exchange, uh, whoever does it, I also give you some free airtime on this program to advertise, you know. <laughs> You know, but, but, I'm, but, but I'm very, very impressed, you know, um, because it's a very noble cause, you know. And I, I think the, 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 what impresses me most is that it also gives the visually impaired also the knowledge that they are, they are really an integral part of us, you know, and they can be a force for good. Mm -hmm. And especially this coming election, you know, and if they are part of the... Uh, of the agents of change, uh, peace, agents of, uh, agent of peace, is a very, very laudable idea. Show them some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Gina, you're actually a teacher. Yes. I almost, I almost goofed there. When, when you, you <laughs> came, I said, mm, maybe, I, th I thought, you know, you were, <laughs> you, you were both partners in, the, in the, the same fashion company and, <laughs> Possibly, you know, dating her or something. I say, I will teach her, and me and Rob Are you married? No, I'm not. You're still in the market? I'm still in the market. Yeah. Yes. My <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. And how, how, is the, how does the market look? <laughs> the market is okay. The market is okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to any more improvements the market. You're happy with what? I'm happy with the cool yeah. market. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very well. Yeah. And you, you are. You know, right now I'm concentrating on charity. We want to give back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, you know, that's you know the ladies now. they want atten attention. So if you don't give them attention, yeah, and, and you, you can't divide your attention. And now. yes, so it's all on the charity. And they're visually impaired. Yeah, you're visually impaired. You have to help them do. Yeah. Them. So I don't have much time for. <laughs> so right now. I'm on break. You're on break? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a number you want to leave? If there's anybody watching that has any, anything they can do to support this great cause, you know? I, I think my, I'll put my number out and she will also okay. do the same. My number is 0242-960-358. Okay. 0242-960-358. Great, great, great. And, mm -hmm. and, and yours is? Um, my number is 024 297-9299. Great. And both numbers are on your screen right now. And um, if you have anything you can do to help, because I think it's going to be very, very, very wonderful to have a hotel, you know, offer uh, one of their ballrooms, you know, in support of this, you know, to have a transport company offer a bus, whatever. And, and let's get this done so that this becomes a reality and it will be great for all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. And too. congratulations. Thank you. And uh, you have done us proud, man. Thank Give you. it up for one of them one more time. And stick around, folks. We'll be right back.
Don't move, don't blink, don't breathe. The KSM Show will be right back.